So, hey, everyone. Line up. Welcome to uh, Game House September. It's the most highly anticipated games of the month, and we're just going to go ahead and get right into it. So, the first one we're going to talk about is Marvel's Avengers. It's the first one to come out on September 4. Yeah. Uh, this is definitely one of the most anticipated games uh, this year. And we finally uh, get a look at it at the beta that it was released August, I think. Yeah, it was like August 7th was pre-orders, then it was uh -huh. PlayStation 4, and then it was everyone else. So what do you think about it? I don't know, I didn't play it. <laughs> <laughs> well, did you watch the, the gameplays? Yeah, yeah, game? I watched the gameplays and I heard, I heard a lot of people talking about it. And basically, the response was what we were talking about before, uh, because... It's like we've been saying, like a lot of people have been saying, like in the Instagram posts we've been writing it, uh, the idea of the Marvel's Avengers game was something that had yeah. us very excited, very hyped, like we're big fans of the movies, you know, like most people are, they're, they're really great movies. Yeah, like when we f first saw the trailer of the tree, we finally said that, wow, finally we got a huge Marvel's Avengers game. Uh, it was something we even talked about before, that yeah. why they haven't done it. Right. And so we saw we're really hyped about it. Because, yeah, there, there have been superhero games and there have been Avengers games, like uh, the Switch had the one, which uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance. That's the thing, what a lot of people were expecting was that, was mm -hmm. a Marvel Avengers game, but that can be that next level. Like a Marvel's mm -hmm. Avengers game to the quality of something like Uncharted, to the quality of something like God of War. Yeah. That's what people wanted. But it's, it seemed pretty early on, like the trailer had a super hype, but it seemed mm -hmm. as more information was revealed that that kind of wasn't what the game was. Even though it has a lot of money behind it, you know, it's Square Enix and all that. I think the style of the game is what's different. It's not like a, it's not an uncharted linear. Yeah, it's more like a, like we haven't played the 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 beta. Right. But from what we have seen from the from the other people that made reviews, right. These are it's just a beat 'em up uh, yeah. type of game when you go to. Uh, point A to, to, to point B, yeah. just uh, blasting uh, enemies, mm -hmm. and these enemies are very generic, yeah. the missions are very generic, you have to grind a lot, there's a lot of uh, missions. One of the things that I saw is that every character, uh, Thor, uh, Hulk, Miss um, Marvel, Captain yeah. America, they are really unique in the fighting style and their abilities. For that, and also the game feels really good. Like the like the environment yeah. and the graphics are dark top notch. The problem is it's just a very boring game <laughs> that it can be fun to play like a, for a week, two weeks, a month, but it's not a game that you are going to play uh, for a long time. And this type of game, the way they present it, is that they're gonna keep upgrading it. So yeah. it's a game that is supposed to you to, for you to play for a long time. Right. But from the way we see it uh, for now, because the game hasn't come out yet, of course. it's not going to happen. At least for us and for a lot of people. The game is trying to be something that it is just not, is not what we expected. We expected a, a really cool campaign. That's yeah. what we wanted, a campaign. And it, that just feels like all over the place missions. Mm -hmm. And that's what they've said, like some stories you know, are, are relevant from the sto from the mm -hmm. main one, and mm -hmm. it just feels cheap, I guess is what I would yeah. say. But let's uh, see if they come around uh, yeah. when, when, it, when they release the game. We're not gonna, we're not gonna buy it at release. Yeah, we're not gonna buy it at release. At least, maybe we're gonna buy it if it's in a really good sale. Yeah, in the future, and because we'll beat some people up. It will, it's fun, like, it's yeah. fun to play as your heroes, it's fun yeah. to play uh, as the characters with the, with their ability and stuff, yeah, but it's not the game we were expecting. I, I expecting. Was, I, was, I was looking at some Thor gameplay and it's true. Like you throw yeah. the hammer around, you bring it back like kind of God of War style. And I was like, damn, this looks like a lot of fun, but it looks like this is it. Like that's about as far as yeah. it gets. Yeah. Let's uh, go to the next one. We got now NBA 2K. 21. 21. Okay, so. I have never played any, any NBA games. Yeah, so I think I have a little bit more to say about this yeah. than you do. And I have kind of a lot to say about this. <laughs> yeah, I think you'd be surprised because I haven't, I have some things I have to say I haven't even told you yet. Okay. Okay, so NBA 2K21 is coming out uh, September 4th, same day as Marvel's Avengers. And people are going to buy it because people literally always buy 2K. It just doesn't matter. People yeah. buy it. A lot of it is online. Like people want to, everyone buys it, so you got to buy it so you can play online with people who, who bought it. So that's kind of what it is. So there are some unique things about this game and it's the first 2K game is gonna be $70. Uh, yeah. $70? Yeah, uh, it's gonna be $70, cause you know, next gen. 
I don't know if you. Have you but now all the games are going are gonna be seventy dollars. Right. So that's kind of that's kind of like a trend that's happening right now because you know different publishers are doing different things. Like for example, this game's come go coming out in September is gonna be seventy dollars. Cyberpunk coming out in November is still gonna be sixty. But now now that NBA to the the seventy dollars yeah. now all their games are going to start exactly winning. yeah exactly so that's the trend that's likely going to start happening <laughs> yeah but a lot of people are saying that like it makes sense and I I can't even crit I mean I'm gonna get into NBA but I can't even okay. criticize it because it's true uh, people say games have been sixty dollars for like you know a long ass time and games get like more expensive okay uh, and inflation so it actually kind of does make sense for games to get like ten dollars more expensive okay. I, I give you that, <laughs> but yeah, when it comes to NBA, that is arguably the same, same game, game with minor tweaks, and they're gonna charge uh, seventy dollars for it. Okay, and that's not all. That's not all. That's not the problem I have with it. it ch changes the tone to something a lot more tragic. You know, Kobe Bryant uh -huh. uh, died this February, and I remember when it happened. I was like, oh, you know, they should, you know, out of respect, they should totally. That'd be really cool that they put, you know, a Kobe version. Kobe should be the cover uh, athlete. And they did it for the Legends Edition. Uh, that's like the ultimate deluxe edition of the game, which is like uh, a little bit more expensive. Uh, which is fine, you know, I guess that's not really that big a deal. But as far as I understand it, <laughs> if you buy the game on your PS4, you buy the normal edition, you can't carry that over to PS5. You can only buy the Legends Edition. Then all your progress, all your shit, that's going to get carried over to PS5. Only... Only the hundred dollar Kobe version. Okay, so basically they just want to make money out of Kobe. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it, and that's what people are saying. Is like I was saying, like just make him the cover athlete. But I'm like, okay, they had they always have different editions. Fine, make him the cool, you know, Legends one. But then also you're locking his version, you're locking the next gen upgrade behind his version. That is like that is like it's just me. Doesn't that feel like super cheap? Also like. They're really done thinking about the uh, pandemic, like yeah, true. Why you start changing, changing all that now? Like why you w yeah, won't bring happiness true. to a uh, fandom that buy your game every year? Yeah, you would think this would be the year that they. Yeah, oh, let's wait you now because everything is happening. But two K is not about like that's like on some CD Project Red. That's like on some I don't know fucking the people who make God of War. Like those are the fan the, the yeah. Santa Monica. Santa Monica and uh, Insomniac also is pretty cool with that, but 2K does not give a fuck. Yeah, I'm guessing I'm not gonna play NBA this year either. <laughs> <laughs> or any fucking game. Or any fucking game. So, and yeah, I looked at a trailer, it looks the exact same, it looks the same, they got a new actor. It's just not worth buying $60 every year, and people, I mean, I don't, I don't want to hate on people who do it, like, buy whatever you want, play whatever you want, but I just got nothing. I just got nothing for NBA, I got nothing left. Well, <laughs> it is what it is. With that, let's jump to our other game. Uh, it's going out on September 15th. Uh, Espelanki. Yes. Finally, the beloved fans of this awesome game that I didn't know anything <laughs> about <laughs> until we uh, do the research for this video yeah. are getting the sequel. Yeah. So I knew a little bit about Spelunky. I Like some YouTubers that I watched played it, but I never really played it myself. But it, literally everything I heard like super yeah. positive. Everybody just have like has like a bunch of fun with it. It's it's like came out in two thousand eight. I didn't even realize it was that old. But for those who don't know, yeah, it came out two thousand eight. But they uh, also made uh, like a, a remaster version for for the PS three and and the Xbox. Oh, okay. I don't mm -hmm. know. Well, it makes sense, I guess, because they you know keep updating it mm -hmm. for a game to be popular for so long. So for those who don't know, Spelunky is a is like a dungeon crawler type game. And it's famous for, first of all, it's procedurally generated. That means that like every run you do is a little bit different. And it's famous for its difficulty. It's like really precise platforming. Enemies are super brutal. Even though it has like a cool little 2D, you know, it's like really hard. And it's also popular because it's very creative. Like you can do different things with the physics. You can like, there's a there's a shop, you know, he has, there's like the, sh uh, the, the salesman. Ah, yeah, that the one you can kill. Yeah, you can try and kill him, but he's like the most OP dude. <laughs> That's a cool. Yeah, no, it, it's cool with the freedom. And if you look at trailers for Spelunky too, and in also the first one, like, because in, in this one, I, I saw that you can uh, use uh, a lot of characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, also, in the first one, you can use them. In no, in the first one, I think you could only use like a, another different character, like after you finish the game. 
I uh, it's it's basically yeah I think it was only like one other character if I'm not mistaken. Well, you have a bunch, and also you can play online. There's that's something that is really popular these days. Like every game has a a cop up online yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, type of thing. Uh, for me, I really love to play games with uh, with my friends. But some games I really like better feel when you play alone. I don't know if this one is maybe one of them. Yeah, that's true. It, it depends on the style of the game. Some games are better alone. Some games you only have fun when it's been with friends. It, it depends. This kind of shows like the age of the game that it didn't have online. <laughs> it had only couch co-op, which is cool okay. because uh, people, you know, that's something that games now don't have, and some people do do want. Uh, so it has online. I don't know if you noticed the original game. As far as I always saw, was only like a desert type mm -hmm. background. You look at the trailer. Mm -hmm. There's like a really cool different. Uh, uh, backgrounds and styles so yeah i think you know you know we weren't super into it but we were willing to give it a shot it's probably not going to be like a 60 dollars game i couldn't i tried yeah to i price. totally gonna give a shot to spelunky too yeah i, be, I definitely want to do it. we could play it online uh, I first it's gonna go, come out to ps4 uh for yeah, a little right. bit you know sunny has it all <laughs> yeah but pc fans can play it uh doesn't have a release date yet no. but you just have to be uh, to wait uh for a little while Right. Okay, so the next game is going to be Crisis Remastered. Uh, you know, this kind of this is a game that kind of needs no introduction in a way, even though I had actually somehow never heard of the, the original game. I don't know how you never heard of it. Yeah, that. like for real, it's kind of weird. I mean, I guess 2008 I was a bit more of a console player than PC. I played more like World of Warcraft. But yeah, Crisis Remastered coming out September 18th. It uh, doesn't need an introduction. Everybody knows it's like the most famous game for destroying your PC. <laughs> you, can't, uh, you can't play it. <laughs> Nobody can play it. But now they're going to remaster it for modern audiences. It's a you know cult classic fan favorite, and it's coming out this September 18th. Uh, we don't really have much to say about this game. Uh, it looks awesome. Like the, if you uh, look for the gameplay, uh, it really have really good graphics uh, mm -hmm. for for a remaster. For the gameplay, uh, it looks really fun. Mm -hmm. uh, the exact the exact same fun that you uh, ha had when you played uh, on the 2000s. Yeah. Uh, and for the new people that are going to try it out, we definitely. Maybe you're gonna try it. Yeah, and you know it'd be really funny if um they release it and like people's PCs can't run it. Like it's so <laughs> much better graphically than people's PCs. The meme will continue then. Yeah, that'd be <laughs> dope. I, I would really like them to do that. So the last one and for me, I don't know you. Uh, no, the more. That's not the last one. I'm talking about Baldur's Gate. Why do you wanna talk about fucking Baldur's Gate, man? Because people like Baldur's Gate, okay, bro. Okay, then let's talk about Baldur's Gate. Okay, so, the next to last the one. The next one. <laughs> the next to last one. We have Mafia Definitive Edition. Now, unlike Crisis, this is a full remake from the ground up, as the, the developers have stated it comes up from the ground up. And if you look at the gameplay trailers, we're probably gonna put something up on screen so you can see. You can, like, the, re the guys who remade it really, they really put their heart and soul into it. Like, the game looks freaking amazing. Yeah, it definitely looks like a brand new game, a, a yeah. brand new Mafia. Yeah. Uh, we saw the comparison between uh, the first one that came out in 2002. Yeah. And this one, and boy, uh, really is something else. Like, mm -hmm. it's a new game. Uh, they say that it's neat. they have new gameplay. They recorded record all new uh, voice actor, mm -hmm. even the music mm -hmm. is recorded again. So uh, we're really hype about this one. Yeah. Uh, we never even have played any of the other Mafia. Yeah. Uh, but we're definitely gonna try this one out uh, because it's a really cool concept. Yeah, uh, like gangsters in like the twenties and thirties. Like in comparison to yeah, to GTA, they always had the you know the the modern nineties gangsters like you know San Andreas and shit like that. Or modern gangsters. <laughs> you yeah. already say. <laughs> Gangsters? Is that what you want me to say? Yeah. <laughs> because these people are the real gangsters. Exactly. Yeah, they're the real gangsters. With the fedora. Yeah, with the fedora uh, and the, the coats. suits. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's awesome that they did it, that they did this. Because, like you said, um, you know, when it came out, we probably weren't even allowed to play it. So, it's, it's, there's like a whole generation of people who didn't play it, and it just, it just it's a really cool concept that we now get to enjoy, and it looks really good. I think it's gonna be really good uh, because uh, for this type of game, the story is really good. Like, like the story is the most important part, besides from the killing of the of the civilians. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but because the first one uh, gets really good reviews and get really, really good uh, yeah. a, a awards and stuff. Yeah. And this is just a and chance uh, remake for for that one. I yeah. think they're gonna be uh, really good in the in the sales and the, and the reviews for the. For the game. So mm. our last game is going to be ba Baldur. Ba what's the name? Baldur's. Baldur's. 
Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate 3. Baldur's Gate 3. I never heard of this game. Right. Uh, so Jose is gonna talk about Baldur. Yeah, so... <laughs> I, I can't say like I'm a big fan either, but I just know about it. I know uh, Bioware uh, made the original Baldur's Gate. I think they made Baldur's Gate 2? 2? I don't know. I don't it's going to come up on the screen. So I know that uh, Larian Studios is taking over Baldur's Gate 3. They made Divinity Original Sin, which people really liked because it was in the same style of Baldur's Gate, like top-down RPG, turn-based combat, really RPG. Like, bro, like I'm an RPG fan. I really like customization. I really like stats and all that shit, but Baldur's Gate is like... It's it, the game kind of looks like a test of patience. Okay. I don't want to diss on not a lot of writing. <laughs> no, it's not even writing. It's just like the the combat is like you gotta look at a million things, all the stats, all the characters have different stats, item gear. I'm gonna show you. Okay. I'm gonna show you some some game later, but I don't want to diss on the fans. Obviously, <laughs> like it's and people are really happy. Like the franchise was reborn. Uh, it's a studio that people trust. People like it. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's really good for the people. I know a lot of people are really hype about it. So that's why we kind of wanted to mention it because a lot of people really like it. And you can tell that the, the developers, like, they're, they're one of the, like, the passion projects. They really care about this style of gameplay, so they're going really hard for it. It's coming out for Stadia and PC. Like, Stadia got an exclusivity deal for it? They need to, because yeah. uh, all the hype that they built uh, yeah. before they release uh, really just uh, didn't deliver. Yeah. Uh, all the people that buy Stadia, from, from what I know, are really... Um, uh, I didn't, I didn't, don't say peace uh, about the about the console. Yeah. But they're not happy. Yeah, because like there's latency issues. Uh, they promised a lot of things they didn't deliver. And you know, most people are just talking about how it's just not a smart business model. You're gonna pay a subscription service to pay. Yeah. For games, since it's streaming games, you, it's not the same. You, it's not you have it downloaded on a, on a console. Yeah, I think that's why the the Xbox Game Pass yeah. uh, really hit the. The, the nail with this one, it's awesome that you just can pay a, a fee uh, every month and you can just download yeah. a, any game for that library of games they have. Yeah, and it's pretty big and a lot of them mm -hmm. are pretty quality games. And also for the next gen, uh, next gen games that may, uh, some of them are going to be available also for the Xbox One. Yeah, on release. Uh, <laughs> is there going to be on that X, X Game Pass? So. So, okay, so that's what we consider the most highly anticipated games of the month. Of September 2020. Please let us know what you think. If there's a game that we missed, there's obviously a lot of games that come out every month. Not all of them are going to catch your eyes. So if there's a game that you really like and uh, you didn't see, let us know. Or if you want to just talk about the games you've talked about, let us know everything in the comments down below. And we're going to try and answer all the comments. Peace. Peace out. Oh, <laughs> my